What's up guys, it is DJ Stop Resisting Ham here. Today we've got a pile of mods on the testing list again. New and updated mods were released to get for the third day in a row. What is going on? And we got a bunch of other stuff to talk about as like Farms of Kids, Steam DB, a mod that doesn't work, and all kinds of stuff. Let's check it out. Wait, where did he go? Starting off with our mods and testing, today we've got 128 mods on the list. 62 are in PC testing or stage one, and 66 are in stage two or console testing. Some notable mods on the PC list include Beat Pulp Plants, Say that five times fast. Big Bud Pack and Decorative Construction Trailer. Also at PC testing, we have the IH McCormick, Chrome Big Pack 1290 Straw Harvest, and Lizard Rumbler. Rounding out the PC list, we have the Lizard Track Series, which I think is a Mercedes-Benz track coming to consoles, because the next one is the Mercedes-Benz Hippie Track Series. And then we also have the Reaper 2000, Stone Valley 22, and Workshop Halls Pack. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we have a few notable ones like the Addable Triggers mod, Best Way Ag Retriever SLT at the Case Age Magnum Series 2018. Also a console testing, what words were those? We have the Case Age Steiger 715 Quadrack, which I actually have a video on later today and it's coming out on Friday. Why is this on the testing list? We also have Crop Production Fences, Protection, Farm All 1206, and the Forest Barrier, and rounding out this wild and crazy console testing list, we got the John Deere 7R and 8R Series 2020, which we'll talk about later in the video, Lizard CVC 14,000, MF23, Pitch Trailer, Simple Midwest, and the Volvo NL Series. With all that being said, we still have 157 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is about seven workdays. In addition to the mods and testing, 13 new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod hub, giving us mods three days in a row, setting I think is a new record for the first time in months good to see if you guys want to check out that video make sure you guys do that so talking about mods we got face cam today by the way one of the mods that was released was the t440 harvester pack from mark thor this got a massive update i've done a video on this already uh looks like disturb simulations got a video out and we also saw mr silly p's video this morning when me and farmer cop are having breakfast this is a massive update so make sure you guys don't pass this one up moving on farming simulator kids was released yesterday on nintendo switch ios and android devices it's a super cute game but the unfortunate part is players that enjoy the desktop version and the super realism those things probably are not going to enjoy this as much it is still super adorable so if you've got little ones at home or you just want to play something a little bit different that's farming simulator related hey check it out so this brings us to steam db now steam db is where you find all the dlcs for farming simulator 22 or any game that's on steam for that matter um some people were saying that maybe farm some kids was the steam db well it's not on steam so it wouldn't be that anyway but just wanted to show you we're still showing the unknown app so uh next dlc come on let's go it's been on here forever and if you're wondering what steam db stands for it stands for steam decibel speaking about forever it feels like forever ago recording this video with john deere we did our, hey who's that down in the corner we did real life bell stacking versus uh dj goham in farming simulator bell stacking this was a lot of fun it was a partnership with john deere uh we just had a great time tried to line everything up exactly the same in real life as the uh as they did that yeah, showed it off right here um i don't want to spoil it but uh I, Ronnie was better than me. That's all I've got to say about that. Wow, and you are worse than we even thought before. Thanks. So then let's jump over to some modern news and talk about Squiggles. It's not somebody we talk about a lot. However, they did release a mod yesterday for PC, the Enhanced Water Mod. What this does is it kind of adds water to liquid fertilizer spreaders so that you can use water as a fertilization state when you're on PC. However, with the release of it yesterday, it was missing a very important feature, uh, the ability to do what the mod does. Squiggle said, I don't know how the mod passed, but it's missing the XML to add water to spares the slurry tanks. He sent in a ticket as well as an update, so hopefully this gets fixed soon. And if you're curious, uh, the mod's still up on the mod hub. So you can still download it. Doesn't do anything though. Next, let's talk about Connect modding because they have released, I think what's gonna be the final Case IH mod coming out on Friday, the Case IH Patriot 250. This is a sprayer and it's got some really inter interesting attachments for sugar cane. I don't want to give away a whole lot right now because I do have a video on this coming out tomorrow. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But we've got even more case mods coming out on Friday. And as always, DJ will always be on the case. Next from Dense Modding, we talked about the John Deere 8R 2020 series, and it is out of 8R series 2020. Uh, well, they are in console testing right now. They are from Dense Modding. I wasn't quite sure whose these were because, well, we get a ton of 8R and 7R mods all the time. 
However, we can see right here, they're both from Dense Mining. We've talked about these a little bit, so go check out those videos if you missed it already. But hey, yeah, there you go. Also, uh, we get a little bit of a tease of a 9RX, but Anka Serious Mining's got some more screenshots of their MacDon headers. Here shown is the 974 MacDon. It's going to be at the top right hand corner of the screen. We also have the CIH or Case IH 2062. That's your top left and I think bottom right as well. Uh, we also get to see the New Holland 84C, which is a brand new one. I didn't know this was going to be a thing. I don't know why I didn't think that. Uh, uh, CNH Case New Holland. Makes sense. So I'll cut myself in the face with this. I need to take these out. Either way, some more screenshots on these Magdon headers. Super excited for these. Unfortunately, these headers are neither wide enough nor fast enough for DJ to use. Something not so red, but is green, is a new cedar from EY Modding. He's got the John Deere B grain drill, and this is a Van Brunt. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this. I did a little bit of research before the video, and every time I search for it, it just says John Deere Van Brunt B grain mill or grain drill rather. EY Modding does have a video up on YouTube, so make sure that you go check that out because it is super cool. He he didn't do any research. It's fact sheet time and JHHD Modding's got some more fact sheets on their Teagle machinery, specifically the Tomahawk C120 caliber. Braider? What's a calibrating? This is a bell processor and you put bells in and you get straw out. We've got a lot of stuff like this in Farbeak Simulator already. We also talked about this not a long time ago, basically saying that if you're running a little bit of a larger production, maybe a larger farm, or maybe you're running contracting where you turn people's bells into loose straw, uh, well, you're going to want this. These are also perfect if those straw bills need to actually stop resisting. And lastly, today, Omatana's got some really cool stuff for us. She's got a new map that's in beta stage right now, as well as a new South German farm building pack. It looks like this is going to be about the same as you can see. On one side, we have everything in like a lighter brown. And on the other side, we have everything in a little bit of a darker brown. Actually, I see some silos in the back that kind of match some of the stuff we already have. Omatana's known for putting out a bunch of really good stuff like this. And... Well, that seems no different. And I said beta, but it's in the alpha stage. Uh, uh, Wunzig? There's no way that's how you pronounce that. Wunzig? I don't know. It's in the alpha stage. The 0001 uh, variant is available to download right now on her website. If you guys are on PC, you can download that. Map features one main farm, three more big farms. We have four small farms. What is that? Eight farms? Goodness gracious. 33 fields, 63 farmland, six sale points. Uh, productions for alfalfa. Uh, there's also an extended bakery, spinnery, tailor, great processing, dealership, animal dealer, forestry, lakes, rivers, rapid plant growth with seasonal growth, turned on wheat, barley. It can also be sown in the spring and farmer cops over here. Go. There's so much going on with this. It's also going to be for all platforms once it's finished. So make sure you guys go check that out. And hey, if you want to see a uh, video on this, let me know. Otherwise, just go check out Ombatana because on her YouTube channel, she has preview videos on literally all of these. As a matter of fact, she's got an upgraded version, alpha version of that map. She's got a Farm Sim Kids review. Uh, she's also doing some Farm Sim 22 tutorial stuff, which is kind of neat. And of course, we get to see the farm buildings back. So go check them out. But like, seriously. Stop resisting and go check her out. She's great. Because that, oh, there he is. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the GoHam fam. Double check out notification bell as well. That way you never miss, like, whatever this was here on the channel. News? Farpsubnews.com. With all that being said, just have an awesome day. We will see you later. I found some candy earlier, some Pez candy from Christmas. Anybody hungry? I like it.